food is the main reason us as humans are able to live and move. I must say it acts as fuel to the human body. And when it comes to Africa, we have an assorted range of foods that I enjoyed across the continent. There are quite a number of factors that determine the types of foods that I enjoyed in different locations across the continent. And among these, there is culture, the locality, the weather patterns that hugely determine the types of soils in that particular location, and also preference in terms of taste. In this video, we share the top 10 most commonly enjoyed foods across the African continent Remember that these are not in any form of chronological order. Maybe you've tested some of these and others you've never tested. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to like, subscribe, and also share this video with someone that would like to learn about the African continent. Hey, did you know that Swahili is one of the most spoken languages on the African continent with close to 200 million speakers on the continent and other parts of the world? If you're interested in learning Swahili, we've created an easy to learn Speak Swahili for Beginners course and we believe this is the best course on the market. So if you want to enroll for the course, head over to the description box and click on the link to enroll. Ugali. This is a very common meal in East Africa, widely enjoyed in countries such as Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and some other communities around the region. The meal comprises of maize flour that is mixed into hard boiling water and then mingling starts. So as the mingling is done, this creates a solidified food that is later served as the ugali type of meal, or you could call it posho. In common terms, you could call this cornbread, and this is usually served with sukumawichi or veggies, with beef stew, or else chicken stew or beans. Injera. This is some type of food that is commonly enjoyed in Ethiopia and Eritrean communities. It is a raised flat bread that is made of teff, which is a tiny round grain that grows in the Ethiopian highlands. On making it, yeast is also added to the teff to enable this mixture expand when it's added onto the pan. Trust me, when you visit an Ethiopian or Eritrean home, you will be served with this and this is one of the signs to show hospitality in an Ethiopian or Eritrean home. Fufu. This is widely enjoyed in West Africa, in countries such as Ghana, Sierra Leone, the Central African Republic, Guinea, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Benin, Togo, Nigeria, the two Congos, Cameroon, Angola, and Gabon. This is basically a dough mixture which is either made from fresh or fermented cassava, the cassava is pounded together with plantains to have a final product as the fufu meal. And this is usually served with beef stew or any other type of sauce that is readily available. Matoke, or you could call it the banana meal. This is widely enjoyed in East Africa in countries like Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, 
Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The meal is prepared using a special type of bananas that are first peeled and then let to boil in a pan for some minutes and later these bananas are served with a sauce such as beef, chicken or groundnuts or peanuts. Gary, this is enjoyed in West Africa and commonly in Nigeria. This type of meal is prepared using granulated cassava whereby you have to first peel it and then cook it. After the cooking is done then this cassava is left to ferment for some days and it's from this that it either turns yellow or remains white depending on the number of days it has been left to ferment. After all this is done then you can go ahead and prepare your meal and I must say this compares to your normal cereal that you probably have for breakfast on a daily. Koskas is a North African dish that is widely enjoyed in Northern Africa in countries such as Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, and some West African countries such as Mali, Niger, and Mauritania. It's a traditional babel dish that contains granules of durum wheat, which is prepared by steaming. I must say this is a very healthy meal and like rice, couscous can take up any kinds of flavors added to it for the liking of the person that is trying to prepare the meal. Mealy pap. This is a type of dish that is widely enjoyed in the southern part of the African continent in countries such as South Africa, Botswana, and Namibia. It is a porridge-like meal that is prepared for breakfast, but one can even have it with meat and veggies for lunch or any other type of occasion such as dinner. Jollof rice. Now this is one of the most common dishes on the African continent and it's widely enjoyed in West Africa. I'm sure you've had some of these battles between maybe Ghana and Nigeria on who makes the best jollof rice. Jollof rice is enjoyed in countries such as Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Cameroon, Senegal, the Gambia, Togo, and Ivory Coast. As you move from country to country, you'll notice a slight variation in terms of taste of this jollof rice meal, but I must say it still remains jollof rice. The rice is usually mixed with veggies plus spices and left to boil at medium low heat or temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then when it's ready, it is served with either chicken, turkey, beef, goat's meat or fish with salads. Chapati. This is an East African delicacy enjoyed in countries such as Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. It's basically a mixture of wheat flour with any type of veggies to form a dough that is later used to make chapati. These chapatis can be served with sauce such as beef stew, 
or chicken stew and other times it can also be served with eggs. Tuo is a meal that is enjoyed in Nigeria and Niger in the West African part of the continent. The Hosa people of West Africa are commonly known for this type of meal and trust me if you visited any of the Hosa restaurants then you would find this type of meal. These are rice balls that are usually prepared with a soft type of rice and normally served with soups or stews called Mian Kuka or Mian Kubewa or Mian Tushe. So definitely this is one of those meals for you to try out. Well, those are the top 10 African meals that we had to share in this video. Hope you found this very helpful. And in case you did, let us know down in the comments if you've ever tried any of these meals and maybe where you had this meal from. Do not forget to also like, subscribe and also share this video with someone that would like to learn about the African continent. Thank you so much for watching. We recommend you watch this next video for you to learn more about the African continent.